Hey dreamers, how are you? So today I want to uh, do something uh, in the spirit of Halloween where, you know, we dress outside of our normal selves and get to try and experiment new things. Um, I figured this would be the perfect time to try a type of video that I kind of been wanting to do for some time now. Um, and that's just painting my nails, really. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually like seriously painted my nails before. Um, I used to do the thing back in the day with like a, uh, a pencil, for example, and like just fill in, color my nails in with graphite or uh, such as <laughs> in my uh, goth uh, boyfriend video that I made a little while ago, I did, uh, I, I just used, I think, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner to fill them in. It was, it was a really bad job. <laughs> Uh, so I went to the store with a couple of friends of mine, and they recommended uh, this brand. Um, it's uh, Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, and it's in the uh, uh, 880 color called Black Heart. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just give it a go and, and, and see, see what happens. Um, it says, shake gently and apply two to three coats of this color, so... I don't know. Uh, I always found that uh, whenever my mom was doing her nails, um, and I just happened to be in the same room or uh, relaxing or just anywhere near her, uh, I, I just kind of like the sounds of it. I don't know. <laughs> it's always something nice about it. Just watching somebody kind of meticulously uh, adorning themselves. I also have some uh, nail polish remover for after. I don't know if I'll record the uh, the aftermath, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, so here we go. Just a regular little brush. Nothing too fancy. I'll set that aside. Hopefully I don't spill it. Um, which one should I start with? <laughs> I guess the thumb would be the easiest, I suppose. Well, hold on. Let me think this through. Uh, for, you know, if I'm doing this hand first. Uh, that way I can do this hand and not mess it up as well. Uh, uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go for it. Okay. I see now why it says to apply two to three coats. It's pretty, uh, I, I wouldn't say thin. Or streaky or anything like that but I guess thin would be a good way to describe that and so having multiple coats kind of um, layers over it and again forgive me if uh, this turns out to be <laughs> um, not professional because I have basically never never done this before oh, oh okay yeah it's already messy I think I uh, I dumped it a little too much I think I jinxed myself there it's probably a little too much Let's try this one. I uh, I give props to anyone who who does this on a regular basis. Um, I mean, I imagine nail polish kind of lasts a little bit, depending on how much you use your fingers for everyday activities. But, and so I, well, I imagine you only really have to do this maybe once or twice a week, I would think, right? This 
is actually pretty quick drying. <laughs> the thumb I put too much on. That's funny. I'm gonna have to take maybe a, a Q-tip perhaps and uh, get rid of some of the excess. I don't know, I'm kind of a fan of the the grungier, you know, uh, not perfect kind of, um, you know, makeup look. Because nothing in life is perfect. So if you, if you don't have the straightest eyeliner, <laughs> you know, the straightest cat eye, or uh, you got a little bit of smudging here and there, I don't, I don't personally care about that. You know, you already have the aesthetic. <laughs> so, if it's a little messy, that's okay. It's okay. If anything, I think maybe the reason why I like that is because it kind of looks lived in. You know, like you, you actually do things on a on a day to day basis. You don't really you know, you don't just put on makeup and and you know, even with clothes, you don't just dress up and sit around the house all day. You actually get out and do stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how y'all do this. this <laughs> I gotta get in these like little areas although I'm probably the kind of person who would uh, rather pay somebody to do this for me you know instead of Instead of trying to do this myself all the time, I would rather maybe, you know, go to a, a store or something. Not a store, but, you know, uh, a boutique. And, uh, and support somebody who does this for a living, right? Uh, I'm all about supporting fellow artists. have the funds to do so I would definitely do it or I could I could definitely see myself doing that for for something like this <laughs> you know just have it done professionally and I get to walk away with nice nicer looking nails <laughs> and you know at the same time uh, being able to put food on the table for for somebody who has, you know, um, decided that they wanted to do this for a living, you know, made this their career, <sighs> made this their livelihood. Plus, I mean, you get a, li a little manicure at the same time, a little hand massage, it's perfect. Sounds like a great weekend uh, activity to me. Once or twice a month, I suppose. Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> and if it's that bad with my right hand, I can't imagine what it's going to be like with my left hand. Oh god, I have... I have... dried up by now. Let's hope a little bit of this helps. Ooh, it does. Although I have to be careful not to, to get it on these nails here. I'm going to 
take a shower and I'm gonna find black nail polish like on my legs or on my feet somewhere somehow. Same thing happens with uh, tattoo ink. I'll get done doing a super colorful piece and somehow I'll, I'll find color in the most random places. Hopefully the uh, the uh, the the lighting kind of blurs some of the streaks. It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> that looks pretty bad. I'm gonna have to find a Q-tip. All right, let's try the other hand. Let's see. Uh, let's see what we can do. So that might actually turn out better because I'm being more careful because I'm not used to using this this hand for my day-to-day -day work if it's better to to uh, how do I word that to, to paint uh, a little bit before the edge you know or to like stop a little bit before the edge rather than trying to hit it and overshooting does that make sense Some of you are probably screaming right now. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I, I just give props to people who do this all the time. Wow. Of course, everybody's bad at whatever they, they try for the first time, naturally. I'm sure I can find a nice tutorial on YouTube on you know, a, a quick way to, to do this more efficient. And muscle movement coordination is freaking out right now. It's like I've never done this. So it's like trying to adapt to such meticulous movements. Again, I'm not sure if I should undershoot the edge or or what and should I like try to take the excess off or leave it I don't know I don't know I don't even know if I'm gonna upload this it's worth a shot Lather it on there. Screw it. Why do I feel like this was easier with eyeliner? Like liquid eyeliner. Then again, it was probably just as bad. I like the smell though. I'll tell you what. Tell you what, the smell is beautiful. That toxic, non toxic smell. <laughs> yeah, wow, this is bad. 
I'm supposed to do two to three coats of this? No way. No way. I feel like the pinky is a lot easier for some reason. Maybe because it's a lot less less nail than the rest. Again, at least from what I'm looking at on, on the camera, it doesn't look so bad. <laughs> it looks kind of weird because I overshot some areas, so it's not perfectly, you know, nail-shaped black. But, you know, it works. My, uh, my intention was to uh, perhaps do a, like, a black nail tapping video, but I, I don't know if that's going to come to fruition. <laughs> Again, I, I may, I may, um... I may just go get this professionally done and done correctly. Uh, that way, um, <laughs> you know, you'll have a nice aesthetically pleasing black nail tapping video rather than uh, um, first time, first timer shoddily done black nail tapping. That's a little bit easier after that first one's already on there, actually. That's kind of odd. Like once you already got it on there, it's like, oh, okay. Just, just paint within the lines. I wonder if uh, s some of these nail polishes have like more finer brushes, rather. Oh, jeez, I just spilled a lot. Crap. You know, like finer kind of uh, brushes, so that way you can make a lot more minute adjustments. Yeah, I should probably probably let this dry a little bit before, because <laughs> the napkin's gonna take off a little, like it took off a little bit of his pinky there, just a little bit. Got some Q-tips there that I'm going to. wet with a little bit of the nail polish remover and see if I can't rub away some of the the mistakes if only real life were that easy right a little bit of uh, life mistake remover It kind of works. You know, I don't really know, like, should you go all the way to the cuticle? Or just leave, like, a little bit? I guess, I don't know, maybe for guys, you know, the, the typical, like, grunge look for a guy. It's okay to kind of be a little bit more rough around the edges. You, know, you don't have to be perfect. Be close, <laughs> but not perfect. Because nothing's perfect. That's not bad. Little. Adjustments. I guess what I'm doing now is just kind of shaping, shaping the the nail polish to my exact nail shape. That way, it doesn't look all like weird and blobby.
because I overshot it. I wonder if uh, I wonder if this is a common technique or not. It's probably not. Doesn't look so bad. Plus, I can any any excess on the the tip, I can just cut away with a nail cutter. I imagine. Let's do this one. I think once it's already on there, it's kind of easier to, to layer over it because you've already got the shape there. So all you got to do left is just put on more. All right, now on to the other hand. Again, this one. This hand, I kind of undershot a lot of it. I think that's probably better. Jeez, what happened here? <laughs> um, it's funny, I'll see posts on Twitter where, you know, um, some people complain about how it, while, while putting on eyeliner, you know, you, you start off small, but you make one little mistake, and then you overcorrect that, and then you keep overcorrecting until you have raccoon eyes. <laughs> I always thought that was funny. I can't imagine how many people have horror stories for makeup. Uh, yeah. Trying, trying to do one little thing and you make one little mistake and then it just throws everything else off. It's <laughs> uh, great. Half this video is just going to be me correcting, correcting other mistakes rather than actually painting yeah I'm gonna have to get this professionally done at least for a video at least for a video I'm gonna walk in and be like, can you paint my nails black? You're gonna be like, what? Can't you do that yourself? Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I cannot actually. I will pay you to do it. Thank you. <laughs> That's not so bad. Let's just say it could be worse. It could be worse, right? It could always be worse. I, again, I, I just have, I have black specks everywhere now. <laughs> Let's try to... Remedy that without taking off what we've done. So 
I definitely need to redo this pinky one because it's missing like half of it. And this pinky one too. I must use my pinkies for for leverage or something. That seems to be a thing. Let's take a little bit of that. I guess maybe shake off any excess. Ooh, that feels like it's a little too much. Shake it. Let's try to spread it across the whole. Oh god. Too much on this pinky. It's probably all going to chip off tomorrow anyway. I'm going to go to the gym and it's all just going to be for naught. <laughs> I really use my my pinky as like leverage. Uh, just near the tip of this pinky right here. Funny being being an artist, you would think that little small details and stuff like this would be easy. Being a, and even more so being a tattoo artist, you know, needing to keep a steady hand and and whatnot. But it's almost like relearning how to do everything. Again, you gotta teach your your hand muscles to to do a certain thing. Like tattooing, I can keep a steady hand, but with this, it's like, ooh, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. Oh, there goes that pinky again. Let's clean up our mess a little bit and show off the results. Again, I don't, I don't know what this is going to look like on camera. From here, it looks okay. <laughs> From far away, it looks all right. If you get, get too close, it's, it's probably not the best, but you know, it works. <laughs> it does the job. I'll probably spend some time to clean up everything around the edges and whatnot, but I think we did okay for our first time. <laughs> well, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. I love you. I hope you take care. And as always,